Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little series I'm putting together, I'm trying to refamiliarize myself with the XR2 Raven Star and get a little bit more experience with some of the MFDs that I haven't used in a while. Now, in the first part of the series, we took off from Cape, uh, Cape Canaveral, got up into orbit. In the last video, we docked with the ISS. And in this video, we're just going to continue on from the ISS and go out to the moon. Now, Unfortunately, I did exit out of Orbiter between videos, and I didn't do a quick save, so I'm actually starting with a different save file. Uh, I'm actually just using one of the default uh, scenarios that comes with the XR2, and this one is just docked at the ISS. So the date's different, and uh, the configuration of the vessel is going to be slightly different because it's not going to be the same amount of fuel that I used and all that kind of stuff. So a bit unfortunate, but uh, it's fine. It's the same idea. We're just continuing in the XR2 from the ISS and going out to the moon. Now I will have to be fiddling around with TransX a little bit, and I know that can get a bit tedious to watch. So if you don't care to see all that, I understand. Just uh, skip past that part. But I do like to record all the little nuances of what I'm doing because uh, some people who are trying to learn some of these learn some of these tools. Uh, need that level of granularity so they can follow along but also for myself uh, when I look back in my own videos years and years later I'm really grateful that I recorded every little step so for people who don't want to watch all that you know you can just uh, skip through until you see something that looks more interesting to you uh, with all that said I'm gonna go ahead and switch camera views and start setting up TransX to go out to the moon all right, let's uh, switch to the larger MFDs here. And I'll bring up TransX on both sides. And first of all, we will switch to the moon and go over to view, turn maneuver mode on. And the first thing I'll have to do is uh, put in some prograde. Now I should mention that the maneuver I'm setting up at the moment is just to get me in the, in the, in the ballpark. Uh, once I undock from the ISS, I'll have to refine this maneuver, but while I'm here at the ISS, I just want to get the uh, get the ball rolling. So we need about 3.1k to get out to the moon. Just back that off a little bit. Ooh, boy, that goes fast. Oh, it's because I went in the other direction with the adjustment. And uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. And most of the rest of this will be taken care of with date. And let me just go backwards for a moment and do reset. And then we're only going to be adjusting by minutes or hours, not years. So we want to have a fairly low setting here. Let's go with a super. And let's go forward on that side and view over to the encounter. And go down to an ultra setting. So I think we'll, 51984, yeah, that should give me enough time. So let's plan on, let's try to catch it here if we can. Catch the moon right there along that line. So let's go to, adjustment, so forwards, eh, maybe we'll catch it there. Uh, we're going to need more prograde though, so let's go back to prograde now. And, or do we have too much? Uh, we have too much prograde, okay. So now I'm just going to start looking at uh, the minimum altitude. Um, also, I'm just now remembering that I, you can start including your base alignment even though we're here around Earth. And I remembered how to do that in my last series where I went to the moon. You have to bring up map MFD and you want to reference the body that you're going to, in this case, the moon. And then if you do target uh, spaceport and when I press enter here for Brighton Beach, you'll notice I'll get some additional information over here. So watch over here, enter, and you can now see I have the off-plane distance, uh, which is the off-plane distance of the base. So even while I'm here at Earth, I can start taking into consideration um, my plane alignment 
with the base that I'm trying to get to, and that's a pretty good idea. It's just one less thing you have to do later. We will have to do a mid-course correction of some kind, but if if before I ever leave Earth, if I'm in plane with the base by, you know, a few dozen or a couple hundred kilometers, then the mid-course correction will be minimized later. All right, so as I add in prograde, it is um, increasing my minimum altitude and increasing my off base. So let me take out some prograde. And it's bringing my minimum altitude down, bringing my off plane down. So let's start with that and then switch over to date and go down to a micro setting. So that's increasing, increasing. That's decreasing and increasing here, but we, we're pretty high up, so we need to bring our altitude down. We need to be, you know, 50, 60 kilometers, something like that, not a thousand. So let's go back to prograde. And okay, so that's bringing down the minimum altitude and bringing down the off plane, but the minimum, minimum altitude is coming down way faster, so I think that means I need to go to the date and do this with the date, a couple clicks that way to bring down the off plane and then back to prograde and we take out some prograde and now the minimum altitude and the off plane seem to be coming down about the same rate, close, closey, closer anyway. So that that's looking pretty good. And I'm not gonna fiddle with this too much here because we will have to refine this once we undock anyway. So I'm gonna say that's good enough. All right, we're gonna go with that maneuver for now, bearing in mind that we're gonna have to update it. Let's just make sure it's far enough out in the future. So the begin burn is uh, three, uh, still 3,000 seconds out, so we have a while. So let's switch over to this view here. Uh, let's, uh, let's leave external cooling on for a moment. Now let me consider, while I'm at the ISS, I can replenish my resources if I want. And I don't know, I do have a, a a calculator that will tell me if I have this much kg of fuel and, and this much mass how much delta V I'll have but I don't have that readily available to check so I'm just going to go ahead and err on the side of caution open. open the fuel lines and top up my fuel and I'm gonna RCS. do a quick cross feed to top up the RCS and just refill. Now I'm not going to bother with the oxygen. We have more than enough oxygen, so that will, in fact, I can even dump, you know, a week's worth of oxygen if I want, but I won't bother with that. Let me time warp just to get through that fuel load faster. Uh, okay, we're almost there. I was going to cut it, but yeah, we're close enough. Might as well fill all the way up. It's a bit inefficient to carry a bunch of dead fuel mass that you don't need. It's like airplanes, Main commercial jets. Full. They don't carry, uh, you know, if they're going from city A to city B, Refueling you know, they don't fill up the wings line. to maximum. They only carry as much fuel as they need. All right, turn off external Easy. cooling. And now we will undock. Uh, let's see, retro doors, Thank might as well go ahead and open the retro doors. And radiator's already open. Alright, undock. Quick bit of time warp, and then close the nose cone. More time warp. And turn off the APU so we save that fuel. And a quick bit of uh, translation just to get up and away from the ISS. Make sure we're in linear translation, we are. So a bit of uh, 9 to go backwards and a bit of 2 to thrust up. And of course that's perturbing our orbit, so that's going to have an impact on our plan. But we are going to refine that anyway. Alright, F8 over to the big views. 
and let's warp time forward to until we're uh, at 3,000 seconds from the time to burn. Um, about right. Uh, let's just go with that for now. And let's view over... Let me actually switch HUDs here too. And while I'm fiddling with this, we'll get into the prograde position because we'll need to be in that orientation eventually. But let's view over to the maneuver and go to uh, orbit up, uh, base up, uh, base orbit updates, and we'll just update the uh, the burn, and you'll see everything over here is going to change. So we went from a minimum altitude of like 30 up to 640, and our off base distance uh, went up. So. So yeah, let's go ahead and do just a quick bit of refinement. So adding in prograde is going the wrong way, so we take out some prograde. We go to hyper, just to get things more where we want them to be quicker. Looks like we may just need to refine with uh, prograde only. Yeah, I'd say that's good enough because uh, things are going to change. All right, let's view over to the target again, and let's take a look at burn time calculator. Let me see here. Let me get the maneuver. Let me see, 51984, 7, so, it, so it's out in the future. So if I get the maneuver, so we have time to ignition in 3,500. So let me go ahead and warp time forward, get down a bit closer to the time to begin the burn, and I want to just check my my plan one more time, because we are still, you know, a ways out, and things will change before it's time to do the burn. So let's get down to a thousand seconds Four before thousand. ignition. I hope I'm not going to run through the ISS. Okay, it looks like it'll be out of our way. <laughs> I have totally done that before. All right, so we're a thousand seconds away. Let's go ahead and view over to maneuver. Go to updates. Do a quick update. Let me bring up transects on this side. And okay, there wasn't really any change there, so I'm not going to bother with anything. So go back to burn time calculator. View back over to target. And now let's get a bit closer to the burn but let's bring up auto align whatever it's called auto center okay so we're a couple hundred seconds out let's bring up turn on auto center all right and we should be able to just leave time warp on all the way through the burn so let's go ahead and do that and once the burns done we have to turn off auto center turn off maneuver mode and then do a bit of uh, a bit of cleanup with uh, manual thrusters all right and we're on the way To the moon. Go ahead and come out of time warp here in just a couple seconds. Now. No, a little bit longer. Now. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now I want to quickly turn off auto center and quickly turn off the maneuver. And closest approach is 32,000. So, so we probably have a bit more uh, forward thrust needed. It's usually the case. So I'm just using a bit of main engine. There we are. And a bit of translation. Boy, that off plane's way different than the plan.
Just try to bring down the off plane. Okay, I think I'm gonna mostly worry about the off plane with a mid course. Yeah. Alright, we'll go with that for now. That, I'm surprised that that's not a bit closer to the plan, but that's how things are sometimes, I suppose. Uh, let's go ahead and warp time forward. And... It's got 10,000... A hundred thousand. Let's go back to ten thousand. Let me bring up orbit here so I can see. And let me let me reference the moon. Okay, so we'll go to ten thousand. Let's go down to a thousand just for a moment. So I lost my base information. I'll pick that back up in a second. So I'm going to go until PET is uh, 200,000 like that. Actually, mm, let me go maybe down to 100,000. Uh, let's go to 70,000. No, we'll go at 80. Okay, so I'm just I'm just picking 80 as a point right there. And now I'm going to see about doing a mid-course correction. But first, let's bring up a map again. I think we lost our information here somehow. So we will target Brighton Beach, even though it's already targeted. But somehow in that transition between Earth's gravity, between orbit Earth and orbit Sun, I think Transex forgot that we had selected Brighton Beach. So you have to select it again. Okay, so uh, again, without going through a maneuver, let me just kind of see what I can do just by tapping translation thrusters. So that's not helping either one. So Ford is not, uh, based on my current orientation, maybe I, nah, based on my current orientation, Ford's not doing what I want. Up translation's not helping either. And uh, sort of inward bringing down the minimum altitude so all right I, th I think that this is going to be too much guesswork so I'm going to go ahead and use a, a set up a transex maneuver but let me get a bit closer no let me let me do it now because the farther out that I the farther out I am the more the cheaper the maneuver should be so let's go to um, prograde and we're to start tapping around and seeing what we need in order to bring down mainly the off-plane distance. The minimum altitude's high, but the off-plane is uh, more of a concern at the moment. Okay, so we won't worry about that yet. And also I want to make sure I set this date in the future. <laughs> so, so we're at 2708 right now. Let's set it for 27... 28, which I believe gives me like th three minutes. Let me go with 38. There we go. And all right, let's try some outward. Okay, so that's helping bring down the minimum altitude and the off plane, but the off plane's coming down a lot faster. Or rather, the minimum altitude's coming down a lot faster. And now the minimum altitude is going up, so let's keep that for now, because it's not a huge amount. And... Okay, that's helping... to a point. That's a lot of plane change, though. 
let's uh, let me reset that. All right, every time we go around, let's update. Let's try prograde again. That's going the wrong way. Let me see here. Yeah. Reset. What is my inclination? 84, so it's almost a polar orbit. I think that's why I'm having a lot of trouble dialing in the base. So. So let's start with that, even though that's currently subterranean, but. So that's bringing me back out. Let me reset here. So. Hmm. So that's 27. All right, let me start there, or keep that for now. Update. All right, I think that's what we're gonna need. Okay, let's bring down the minimum altitude, bring down the off base, and let's go back to our other variable that was helping, and we were adding in So that's bringing up the minimum altitude, bringing down the off plane. And it doesn't take much of that. All right, let's go back to the prograde. Take out prograde. And let's overshoot that a little bit down to like negative 17, 16. And then add in more outward. It's gonna matter. Wait, 2738. We're almost past our date. Let's bump our date out a bit. Just to make sure we're doing this in the future. <laughs> I hate setting up a maneuver just to realize that when I switch over to view target, the maneuver date's passed. So that's the wrong way. Okay, that's All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. And then back over to, I wonder if adding in any plane change will make this a bit cheaper. So that's taking down the off plane. Now if I add in prograde, I'm technically making my burn cheaper. Now if I take out outward, I'm making the burn cheaper. That's bringing down the minimum altitude, but increasing the off plane. Now if I take that out, that's okay. Let me bring this up to like 12. And then switch over to prograde. All right, now if I take out prograde, it's improving both. Okay, ugh, it can be a pain sometimes getting all these worked out. Okay, so that's pretty sensitive there. It's bringing down the off plane. 
Okay, now if we can just get this minimum altitude a bit better under control without completely messing up our off plane. That's not the one we want. Update. That is, okay, so here, prograde. Outward. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Because we're pretty much right there at the base, and our altitude is reasonable. Okay, go with that. All right, let's view over to target and turn auto center on. Bring up burn time on this side. Just a little bit of time warp to help the auto center get settled in. All right, let's go ahead and do this burn. So let's get the burn from TransX and time warp over to the time to do the burn. All right, so we're gonna do the burn. It's just a fairly short three second burn. All right, turn off auto center, view over to maneuver, turn off maneuver mode, and quickly view transects on this side. And we always have that issue where, you know, trans, uh, it doesn't quite finish the burn, so we have to just put in a bit more transate, trans, translation until we get the number we saw before, which was about right. Which was about right there. A little bit more. About right there. All right, so that is our mid-course correction, and hopefully we won't have to make another one, but we will check again when we get a little bit closer to the moon. But let me go ahead and switch to the overlay here. That's gonna wrap it up for this part of the series. Uh, if you like the if you like the video so far, please do hit that like button down below, and I will see you in the next part.